seek him here, they seek him there. Those Frenchies seek him everywhere. Is he in heaven? Is he in hell? That cursed, elusive Pimpernel. France was in revolution, England danced, and the hated agent, the Comtesse de la Valliere, preached liberty, equality, fraternity, in vain to the revelers at Carlton House. We may have to leave for France tonight. Why, what is it? It's the devil of it, I don't know. John has just returned. Paris is alive with rumors. There's some devilry afoot. Thank goodness. Things have been very quiet with the League recently. People think the Pimpernel's on holiday. Uh, some devilry to do with horses. Yes. A French invention. A springs in their heels to make them jump. <laughs> Your servant, Countess. Yours, yours, Sir Percy. How beautiful these September evenings are. Nature. Nothing like it. Hastings, how often have I told you not to mention names in public? She was only a few feet away. She's bound to her. Well, so much the better. It's been my job to silence her. We don't commit murder to cover our mistakes. It wouldn't be murder with a woman like that. Only justice. Of course, I was a young fellow in those days and could ride all day without feeling a thing. But that young lady, the niece of the Duke of Artois, will. It's hot, isn't it? <laughs> oh, but of course you don't feel the heat. <laughs> you ladies are dressed for the sport, on. <laughs> ah, Blakely. Sir, madam. In your honest opinion, Blakely, do you approve of ladies' fashions today? A ladies' fashions arouse men's passions. <laughs> the less they dress, the more we say yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Royal Highness, a most urgent dispatch. Uh. Yes, sir, madam. What's this? Dreadful. Oh, anything happened to one of your horses, sir? Well, a letter from France. Your Royal Highness, I, together with other liberal leaders of the government, am on order of the Committee of Public Safety to be removed from office. Removed from office? Better removed from this world. Oh, don't be a fool, Blakeney. With him will go the few Frenchmen who have striven to avoid warfare with Britain. Oh. Listen, the object of the Committee's fury is the moderates, whose aim for France is not bloodshed, but that democratic monarchy with which your island is blessed. When you receive this, I may no longer be alive. But I will die saluting the British haven of freedom. Your servant, Jean Monnier. Where is the Comtesse de la Valliere? We must make representations through her to the committee. We must offer asylum to our friends. Where is she? She's left the room, sir. She seemed greatly perturbed. Well, at least she has had the tact to make herself scarce. So I feel sure the Pimper never tried to intervene in this matter. Really, citizeness, I cannot understand why you had to travel all this way to tell me something I had already guessed. I had hoped that you might have found some clue to the Pimpernel's identity. If I am to continue my work for you as a spy, I expect to be trusted with your confidence. Why was I not informed of the committee's plans? My dear citizeness, even I was not sure. Nonsense. News comes to England. You are not sure. Let us say that I hoped that the committee would change their minds. I am left to look a fool in the eyes of the Prince of Wales. It's always an answer to everything, provided one has time to think it out. The answer to this is not so simple. Is it not true that there are many traitors among the leaders of the revolution? Yes, it is. Do you question the committee's decisions? No. Then what's troubling you? Conscience? Yes, citizeness. 
citizen Chauvelin, however much I esteem you personally, I warn you, my duty is to the Republic. Now, I have something to tell you concerning the Scarlet Pimpernel. But first, what are the committee's exact plans? Let us waste no time on recriminations. The facts are, the Countess de la Valliere knows our identity. She's escaped us and is at this very moment with Chauvelin. And if it's too late to stop her, we must all leave Paris at once. No. We have an important task to perform. What sort of task? It may be one of the most important we've ever yet faced. Before La Valliere went to see Chauvelin, he received a visit from the governors of three of the prisons in Paris. You think it was something to do with the political prisoners? Yes. Well, what's your plan, then? I cannot tell until I know more. But one thing is certain. We must establish a safe escape route for an unspecified number of people between here and the coast. Mm -hmm. The entire forces of the League must be mobilized. Now, you had better wait in the street this evening, outside the Conciergerie prison. Right. And you? I shall try and find out more. Take me, you can't take the risk. I must. But at least let me share it with you. It's my fault that there's this danger. It's nobody's fault. But Blakely. No, I'm determined on this. It may be that this adventure marks the end of our present activities. Well, in that event, I prefer to meet that end alone and leave you to carry on without me. Or it may be that it's going to be the most successful adventure we've ever yet had. But that it can only be if our organization works as smoothly as clockwork. Well, are we agreed? Right, all right. Good luck, please. Look, how am I to know when you're ready? Wait outside the conciergerie prison and listen for the sea mews cry. Blakeney, you only used that signal once before. Then you're near death. There'll be no time for any other messages. So listen for the sea mews cry. What are you going to do? I shall go for a walk, Andrew. Go for a walk. in a good place. I always come outside the conciergerie prison. What do you sell? Flowers. Some buy their flowers for their friends inside. Uh, well. Street belongs to us all. Uh. <laughs> we are rich, but we don't seem to notice it. Isn't this bad? Non-existent. <laughs> Lord of the Brotherhood of Men. Flowers, flowers, my pretty. No, uh, never take you. <laughs> this rose smells good. Like summer, like youth. Yes, I know. A haystack and a pretty girl. Ah, get on with you, you old rascal. What's wrong with memory? Miners of the gutter. Dirt, darkness, smells. Mine of the country. Luscious woodbine. Sweet musk roses. Eglantine. Where are you from? Provence. Oh, the son of Avignon. Shakespeare's musk roses and eglantine do not grow in Provence. 
I think you mean the fog of England. You are slipping, Sir Percy. Slipping. I cannot say that I approve of your waistcoats, Sir Percy. Would it be too much to ask what you're doing here? The same as you, I imagine. The streets are a good place for gaining information. Lesson number one in every good school for spies. I hope lesson number two is not to cry out when a knife is at your ribs. I'm told the Pimpernel does not commit murder. If the entire safety of the League is in danger, believe me, I shall not hesitate. <laughs> I had wanted to kill the League, I could have done so long ago. Do not blame the loud-voiced Lord Hastings. I knew before. Oh. Mm, one evening in spring, the Prince's guests all drove down to Richmond, and a mongrel dog lay in the gutter with a broken leg. All the others drove on. But Sir Percy Blakeney stopped his carriage and picked the dog up. Splashing his precious clothes with mud. Now, that was not the action of a court fop. Could he be acting a part, I wondered. I dropped a piece of secret information in his way, information that only the Pimpernel would understand. And some days later, I found it had been successfully acted upon. Flowers, flowers, my pretty. How's the dog, by the way? His appetite is unbelievable. Roses, to match your pretty cheeks. Two sous. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my dear. I do not understand. What is your game? What are you? Yeah, it is a disillusioned, revolutionary. My game, as you put it, is to remain true to my principles. You poor old man. You look so sad. Oh, merci, merci, mademoiselle, merci. If you do not believe in the principles of a revolutionary, man is born free, but everywhere he is in chains, preached Rousseau. Incorruptible Robespierre and his little brother Chauvelin are so determined to break these chains that they forget Rousseau's other words. Man, be human. That's your first duty. But you work for Chauvelin. Mm. I work for him as a revolutionary, not as a murderer. So that was the reason why you left England so hurriedly. Yes. That letter to the Prince of Wales was from my dearest friend, Jean Monnier. The revolution is about to kill those leaders who gave it birth. What crimes can they be charged? None. That's why they are to be killed without trial. Murdered. That's the information you are seeking, Pimpernel. What do you seek from me? Your help to save them. I cannot save them all. But some, you can save some. I'm helpless. I can do nothing but wait for the horror to begin. How much do you know of what is planned? Oh. Chauvelin himself is frightened of what is planned. He has his principles. What do they be? He would send thousands legally to the guillotine. But not this. Do not ask him to save Chauvelin. Well, perhaps one day he too may need your help. He did not trust him in this. Before you saw him, he was visited by the governors of the prisons. Then the victims will be murdered in their cells. But we still do not know when. to this state of national emergency, all able-bodied men will rally this evening on the Champ de Mars for a demonstration of loyalty to the Republic. There will be speeches from the new leaders of the revolution. Chauvelin said there would be a diversion to occupy the people. See. Help me, help my friend, Sir Percy, though they have beliefs that are not yours. My life is at your disposal, madame. Has come. What are we going to do? 
As a mere amateur, may I suggest to my honored teacher that we join the assassins? The pimper, no touch. Wait! Wait! What? Who told you to join us? Shh. Committee of Public Safety. And where is your authorization? What do you want with my authorization, you fool? What is it to do with... Oh, listen to this then. Hmm? The bearer of this is authorized to pass without let or hindrance. This order is to be obeyed implicitly. Signed, Chauvelin. Chauvelin? Do you question his orders? He has further instructions to give me. To deliver the keys to us. Governor's orders. I've already received my orders. Here they are. Now I'm to leave you here. Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? Who gave me those keys? Why should I? Citizen Chauvelin does not wish us to proceed until he arrives. Huh? He has final instructions to give us. Oh, yes, oh, right. Right. Who are you to give so I never mind who I am. You will do what I say. You I understand? Don't know. I'm not sure. I do not care whether you have seen me before Just or not. This one is empty. You can't come in here. Citizen Chauvelin will be furious if his instructions are not obeyed. Let me do this. Listen, I hear him coming. Come on, quickly. Quickly. Citizen Chauvelin. Ah, uh, Andrew, Hastings with you? Yes. Good. Then he can take charge of these. You follow us. Right. Women and children, follow that man. Come. Now, men, listen to me. I am now going to the Temple Prison. It is possible we may arrive there in time. Are you with me? Yes! And follow me. Abba les Too. Your friend. Yeah. 
How many were marked to die? I don't know. We have saved only 30. Better than none. The evening sky is so beautiful. History will remember this autumn. September. The September massacres. I shall never forget what we saw in those places where... Where we came too late. Will haunt my dreams forever. What crimes are committed in thy name? Those who have died will soon be forgotten. You are very calm, madame. I have no time for tears, Sir Percy. I admire your calmness, but I do not envy it. By the way, how is the mouse? I think you meant that if you allowed yourself to weep, you'd never stop. You had better luck with your racehorses, Lord Richard. Racing? I have no racehorses, madam. Oh, I thought I heard you say the other night that things had been too quiet. I understood you to be talking about racing. Oh, yes. How stupid of me. Uh, not my horses, madam, but Sir Percy's. Oh, Sir Percy's. A charming man, but uh, perhaps a little foolish. Although he is my friend, madam, I sometimes suspect that he's not quite. Uh... I understand. <laughs> Inherited, perhaps. Madame Travelier, you left us very early the other evening. Oh, please accept my apologies, sir. I was indisposed. So was I, madame. I had received a most disturbing letter from Monsieur Jean Monnier. I can assure you, sir, you will receive no more such letters. <laughs> I suppose every revolution considers itself justified in destroying its creators. Sir, I have an amended version to my poem. It took me days to think out. Ladies' fashions arouse men's passions. Uh, their dresses cut low make us cry, no. Or, uh, or? According to taste, madam. Blakeney, the Countess and I were having a serious discussion. Oh. Uh, am I interrupting? Uh, my profoundest apologies. Be ready to leave at once. The same assignment. They have sent a similar order to the provinces. It's all right about the Countess. She didn't hear the other night. Oh, good. Forgive me. It's nothing to forgive. We do not have to fear her. She's not dangerous. Just a little foolish. Inherited, perhaps. Mm -hmm. 